Five Minute Eats. Five Minute Eats. Five Minute Eats. Hey everybody and welcome back to Five Minute Eats. This episode we're going to do a review on Alaskan, no Alaska, no wait, <laughs> Buffalo Spiced Alaska Wild Wings. And, From Sea Cuisine. Yeah, and basically it's sizzling southern style wild pollock lightly breaded with buffalo hot spices. This is what they look like, like little nuggets, kind of? They call it the smackable, lip smackable, hopelessly irresistible party protein. And now they give a couple of recipes on how to um, create some dips for it. Mm -hmm. Something called Green Machine Chipotle Lime White Barbecue 2.0. And you can do it in the oven or toaster oven. And um, you know what? Where did we get these at? I got these at Sam's Club. Mm -hmm. And I think it was like 14 bucks or something like yeah. that. It was um, new. So I thought I'd go for it. Mm -hmm. So we cooked ours in the oven. And um... now... Just for um, reference. reference, these have been sitting here for like, what, 20 yeah, minutes? 20 minutes. Because we, you know, had to... <laughs> Someone had to eat first. <laughs> yeah. So we had to feed them, and now it's a little cold. Yeah, it's but a little cold, but... We didn't make the dip that they recommended, so yeah. we did a couple of things. We did ketchup. And buffalo. Buffalo. Uh, sweet Baby Ray's buffalo sauce. Because mm -hmm. um, it's buffalo spice, right? Yeah. Like buffalo sauce would be maybe, or ketchup. So we're going to go for it. Yeah. Now, the, when you look at these things, it looks like chicken nuggets. Yeah. And you smell it, it, it smells like chicken nuggets. Yeah. It smells kind of like a windy, spicy nugget. Hmm. Not bad. Wow. Ooh. That has some spiciness to it. Yeah. One thing about it when we cooked it, it said to spray the foil. Mm hmm. And it kind of stuck to the foil. Yeah. So we, like, I think one thing our advice would be go heavy on the uh, the oil. Yes. Ooh. Um, because, uh, um, yeah, this one right here we had to pry it open. Yeah. And so you can see it fell apart. That one got torn. But this away. actually tastes really good, dude. Yeah. If, if you didn't tell me, I would never know this is not chicken. I would know it was not chicken. It does kind of it tastes a little bit like a fish stick but it's not in a bad way like it tastes like a very light fresh fish mm -hmm. i'm gonna try it with a little ketchup and see how that tastes now here's why i say it you know it tastes like chicken i wouldn't know what i'm you know that i wouldn't know it's very spite uh the spices are like really powerful yes you it really like uh you can um mm. uh, taste it so that's yeah. what i taste I would say that for me, the fish taste comes more like after you swallow. Mm -hmm. Then you kind of are like, okay, that was fish. But while you're chewing, not so much. You really wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try it with the buffalo now to see. Mm. Mm. These are really good. Buffalo is the way to go. Is it okay? And it is very meaty. Like yeah. That's a good cut of fish. There, there's not too much breading on it, which is my issue with some of these things. Be it shrimp or chicken or fish things. Any of these little like nugget type bite things. Sometimes at Sam's and Costco, you buy something new and you're like, oh, this looks really good. And then you get it home and it's so much breading. It's like kind of gross. This is a perfect combination though. And I love it with the buffalo. Now, I've done both. You can do the ketchup. I think the ketchup, either one works in my opinion. It works, but for me. Yeah. I love the tang of the buffalo. Mm hmm This is really good. Mm hmm Even cold. I mean, and they're not cold. They're like room temperature, but. Um, it's still got a little, you know, temperature to it. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, it's very meaty, mm -hmm. which is really like uh, amazing because it's nice and thick and it's it's good meat. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed with those, mm -hmm. especially considering how a few of the new things that we've tried over the past year or so at Sam's and Costco that look really good on the package. I've turned out not so great. Yeah. 
Um, I w- mm-hmm. one thing I did want you guys to know about it is there. There's this is more like a party size, so it's like yeah. The portion, you know, could be a little bit more, um, but because um, like pretty much what we have on our plate is like the majority you, of it. Yeah, there's a little bit left over, but. Um, this is great if you have a party mm-hmm. and you want to serve something. This would be like great finger food, in my opinion. Yeah, like or if like you an bought appetizer. it, mm-hmm. if you bought it just for like you know a family of two or whatever, you could probably make this two or three times at most. Yeah. Um, for the for the serving that you would typically make. Yeah. Um, so it's not gonna like be something that you'll have in your freezer for a long time that you can just like pull out constantly. Um, it's gonna go pretty quickly, but it's good. I would definitely have them again. Yeah, and I'd repurchase. Yeah, I would too. This is good. Mm-hmm. And so it's Alaskan Wild Wings, buffalo spiced, mm-hmm. made by a company called Sea Cuisine. Mm-hmm. We recommend it. And uh, yeah, that's it, right? Yeah. Yep. Make sure you go and. <laughs> Don't go yet. Make sure that you subscribe before you go. Give us a like, click the notification bell, and share this video with all of your friends and family who love Sam's and Costco and food in general. (laughs) That's it. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye.